you've got you've got something that you want to talk about. What you got, Miss Kaya? Hi, welcome to the dark side. <laughs> it's much more fun over here. This is this is this is exactly what these huddles are for. Is bring all of your questions, all of your concerns to these classes, and we'll work on it all together. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I love those. What you got, Atticus? Okay. Write write down your brainstorming. Miss Dominique. Okay, good. All right, we're starting off with Jasmine. All right, let me just welcome everybody here on Zoom real quick. Hello, hello. All right, let's get started. Jasmine's got an interesting idea. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So her idea was to, because uh, this month is her birthday month, so she's going to post on there. Hey, I wonder if there, if I have a birthday twin. When, well, when is your birthday? And have people comment their birthdays. Okay. If they comment, okay. Now remember, you're only going to reach five percent of your followers. So, um, whether you get ten or you get ten thousand comments on there, yeah, sure. Every single one of those those birthdays need to go into your CRM. Yep. So do it. And then Facebook also tells you when people's birthdays are. It gives you the notifications every single morning. Hey, you have so-and-so, you know, Joe Schmo's birthday and four others today. You can sit there every morning for five minutes. Just scroll through Facebook. Okay. CRM. Do, 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 do. Okay. This person. Five minute project. Done. Mm-hmm. All right, so how is your dog homework going? Okay. Um, I, the thing that looks really cute, um, I think I posted it. I made the video. And, um, Do you want to work on it together? Uh-huh. And then it's like what I think my anti my anti social dogs think is like what they thought. Uh huh. There you go. Post it. Right. The reason why people go to social media is not to be definition dumped about real estate. It's to see pets and kids. Pets and kids, and they they like to be entertained. So entertain them. If people are going to social media to be entertained, why are you definition them? Why would you do it? How did the uh, princess house go with your daughter? Oh, yeah. okay. Did so, you get video? Well, no, we went to stand up there. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Dreams destroyed. <laughs> Okay, so, so they're going to open it back up soon? They're going to build it. So not princess. No. Not princess and castles and all of that. It's going to be a different theme? It's going to be a different theme now? Okay, that's video content right there. Hey, I brought my daughter to this. They were tearing it down. Now what? What are they going to be building in its place? Keep following me. We're going to find out. Mm -hmm. All right, Kaya, what are your burning questions? Talking about video, Lee? I use video leave. I did buy it. I don't remember how much it is. I don't know 
I don't remember if it's a yearly cost or if it's like a monthly thing, but I use video leap has like a little box or something. I've been using it for several months now. It's more involved. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's way more involved to edit your videos and reels on Canva. They do have some great little templates and you can drag and drop your, your video in there, um, but it is more it is more involved. So it's really good for if you have text overlays over the top of it and you want it to look a certain way. Um, sure, you absolutely can do it in Canva, but how much time do you want to spend on it? No. Okay, so Kaya is shaking her head. No, she does not want to spend a whole lot of time editing her videos. So Video Leap is great. Video Leap is great for uh, videos that don't have sound or somebody talking. So say you do a home tour and you have these little clips of going through a house and then showing the backyard. Video Leap is great for putting those videos together in a sequence and tying it to music so that you can use it for your social media. So you can then go into your Instagram and type up the words that you want on it, on that video. So think of it as layers. You've got your base video layer, then you build your stickers and your text on top of it. And so that's what Video Leap is good for, is making that base of a video, and then you build uh, your information on top of it. Like you could say five bedroom, three and a half bath, and then have that up for five seconds. And then five seconds later, you've got um, Alpharetta, Georgia, 300, whatever the Alpharetta <laughs> zip code is. Um, you could start it off with what is uh, um, what is $500,000 get you in Roswell, Georgia. Then you're going through the home tour, five bedroom, three and a half bath. I don't know if you're all the real estate agents. You tell me. If that's a good price for for a house in uh, in Roswell, but um, so start off with your video. What does eight hundred thousand dollars get you in Roswell, Georgia? They also said thirty years ago that real estate agents weren't going to be in existence. We'll see it when it happens. Yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. What else you got, Dominique? Uh, oh, <gasps> really? Dominique's gonna be posting her videos. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um. With you, you've got you've got your great ideas, yes. and you've recorded them. I think what we need to do is just push you off the dock. You just need to jump. Just post it. Is it going to bite you? Is it going to bite you? Or are you going to think that you're going to bite you? Mm -hmm. It's going to be fine. It's just social media. It's just social media. Mm -hmm. All right, Atticus, what you got? Still brainstorming? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's what, that's what these are here for. So um, this week I was talking about, uh, so every week for my huddles, I'm doing like a general theme. So last week we talked about LinkedIn. The week before we talked about Instagram. The week before I talked about Facebook. So this week is about the apps that you can use that are either free or cheap to use to boost your social media. So anything in that world I'm here for. Dive into it and use it. Sure. Um, Right, but yeah, so what we could do is next time we can probably tomorrow have it set up to where I can display some things up here on the screen and it also shows up here. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're wanting to build your own website. Mm -hmm. You already have a link tree? Okay, just use that. Because that can be a QR code, right? That QR code can, that can be shared. Yeah, so just use that. Yeah, it's way simpler. Link. So I actually use Canva to make my own link trees. So I call it Canva tree. <laughs> and it's way more customizable. Um, within Linktree, you've got certain templates that you have to follow. And it's great for just drag and drop. I just want to do it. But if you want it to look a certain way, you can also do it in Canva. It's called a bio link. Now, you do have to be careful with your marketing and making sure that anytime, okay, so like for Linktree, for example, she is not directly given real estate advice, not directly talking about real estate. However, the links that she has on her link tree go to literally her website where she is talking about selling real estate. It goes to her social media channels where she is advertising homes for sale and open houses. And so, yes, that link tree is not advertising real estate itself. However, it's linked to things that are. So you have to remain in compliance whenever you're doing your templates. So you can't have Century 21 in a little bitty corner and then your name big and giant. Century 21, either the logo of C21 or Century 21 itself has to be bigger than your name. And every time that you have your phone number on there, you also have to have the office phone number. Just in general, just general rule of thumb, you need to have Century 21 bigger than your name. The phone number, uh, phone number has to be the same size as um, the office phone number. If you're talking about real estate, yep. Uh oh, uh oh. Also, for every every time that you've put uh, a listing up for sale, say, you know, says just listed and you never go back and update that caption or update that post with it, you know, being closed or being sold, that specific post is out of compliance and you could be fined. We could be fine. So go back to every single just listed under contract, you have to update those posts. So go back to the description and write update, closed. You know, you can just put like the month and year. No, that's really mainly for like the office. So you're... Uh, a lot of people concentrate on having specific hashtags like, oh, I've got to have 30 hashtags on Instagram. And, you know, no, please stop doing that. That is old information. It's deemed annoying. Yeah. The more hashtags you have, the more the eyes roll in the back of people's heads. Mm -hmm. So let's avoid that. Three to five tops, mm -hmm. Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, maybe six or eight kind of depends on what you're looking for, but make those hashtags count. Nobody is ever going to click on hashtag real estate. When's the last time you clicked on hashtag real estate? No, Even as a realtor. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So what his question is, is whenever you're doing hashtags, if you have to have uh, the CT1 Connect Realty hashtag, and no, you don't. However, it would be good if you did. Because mm -hmm. then whenever uh, somebody does click on like, say our office, mm -hmm. Instagram, and we have the CT1 hashtag on CT1 Connect Realty hashtag on there, and somebody clicks on it, they're going to see your step. Mm -hmm. So take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to have, so legally, no, you don't have to. However, anytime you go to list a house, anytime you're talking about real estate itself, yes, you sure. have to have 
Century 21 on your post or on your video, but no, you do not have to use it as a hashtag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does, does that answer your question? Is that what you're looking for? Okay. Kaya. Like an end card? Sure. Yeah, and then also put it in your description. Yeah, and also it ends up being something if I just put it in the description and I don't put my own thoughts on the video, but I put the description on it. Uh, you're probably safe. However, just to be extra safe, I would put like a little C21 up in the corner somewhere. Um, you know, there, there are stickers on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok that have the C21. So I just type in like an in Instagram, I type in C21 in the stickers. And then I find the C with the two one where it's like, it goes C and then two one and then C two one. I use that one all the time on our videos. So just to be safe, I would go ahead and put it on your video. Mm -hmm. What else? Okay. Okay, I'm here for it. What are the what are your hobbies? What are you interested in? What's your family do? What's your family do? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's in the background or he's walking away or something. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
that could be a target audience. Mm -hmm. All right, what else you got? You just here to observe and, mm -hmm. and learn, <laughs> absorb the information. What else? Right? Yeah. Once she posts it, you can watch it. It's just a quick, what, 10 or 15 second video? Mm -hmm. You're yeah. good. Do you have your text signature set up? Uh, Kasig? No. Okay. No, it's, it, it, it would have your name, uh, the bar, and then are you realtor or real estate agent? Okay. Okay, so it'll have name, realtor, phone number, um, email address, um, and then, uh, yeah, it's your text signature. Did we get that set up with you? No, just the first one that you sent somebody. Just identifying yourself. <laughs> Nothing else? What do you feel like about this? Or uh, when you set up a thing, uh, do you have a specific campaign that you yourself follow? Do you have a template? If I didn't even be in town, how do you even send the campaign to some of the not there? So as we're onboarding this new program where you can like do all of your own graphics and stuff, all of that's going to be in there for you to download and you can customize it and move things around and things like that. So I would wait for that to be released to you. Uh, ho hopefully sooner than later. <laughs> hopefully sooner than later. That's what my next meeting is about. Uh huh. Like for a presentation wise, like a listing presentation, a buyer's presentation. What do you mean by for like a birthday? Okay. Sure. Oh, cute. Special birthday right send that to me and then let's see if we can get the box designed mm -hmm. and then um i don't know how much they're going to cost of course but um, let's see if we can at least get it designed and then we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah, send that to me. So what she, what Jasmine has is a video on Instagram where uh, this person is putting together a customized box with her contact information that says happy birthday. And she put like a couple of little gifts in there and some tissue paper and um, some little sparkles to put on top and then closed it up and it says happy birthday on the top and it has um, uh, it has her contact information.
So we're going to see if we can get one of those designed and um, have those be ready to order. Sure. Yeah, send all of those to me. Send those videos to me on uh, on Instagram. All right, anything else? All right, let's get to work.